Hey guys, it's here to make a short video and show you how to make your own calcium part one solution. This is for a one gallon stock solution. And what I'm using is uh, some spring water. Um, just bought this from the Dollar Tree along with this other stuff. But uh, you can use RO water or any filtered water. And uh, got some of these. You've also seen this used, uh, it, you know, use it in your closet, but you also seen uh, Damp Rid. It's the same stuff. It is basically, let me see if I can zoom in on here. Probably can't see it, but it's basically calcium chloride dihydrate. It's the same thing as um, Peladow and um, driveway heat. Uh, stuff you can find up north, but you can't find down here because we're in Florida. So this is just basically moisture eliminator stuff you'll find in your closet. Damp Rid is another brand, but um, basically we're going to open these up. Uh, they got little pellets of charcoal in here, which is um, just benign. So I'm going to take these little pellets of charcoal out. Uh, I'm going to separate that from the um, calcium pellets. And we're going to mix it with the water. And I'll, show, uh, I'll uh, bust these out of the pack and then come right back. And, uh, we'll continue the video then. Okay, we're back, and uh, basically I've taken all the little pellets out of here, uh, cut the top off, and there's a little membrane piece of paper on top. You want to remove that too. Pour it out to a container, and just use a pair of forceps or your fingers. Of course, I'm wearing gloves, and pull out the pellets, and you can see out of two of these containers, there's not that many pellets, and it's just basically um, carbon like you would you know put in your filters. Uh, and I think it's to, you know, keep these more uh, from getting moist and packing. And also, it's supposed to, you know, in the water, that it pulls out of the air and collects in the bottom of this thing. So it doesn't, you know, charcoal's there to help with the smell it might produce. But anyways, got all these pellets, calcium chloride dihydrate. And we're going to mix that at uh, two and a half cups of these per gallon of water. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this out and then uh, dump the pellets in there and dissolve them. And just by shaking around, they dissolve pretty fastly too. So uh, I'm going to do that and um, we'll come right back. One thing I did find out cool about these is strip the paper stickers off and they make an actually pretty cool little media reactor. You can uh, hook up a tube to the bottom or something like that and uh, put your filter floss in there and maybe some uh, activated carbon in here and a little filter pad on top snap the lid on we've got a pretty cool little media reactor so second use for these things <laughs> alright let me uh, measure these out two and a half cups pellets to a gallon of water so I'll be right back alright I'm back actually I measured these out with a standard uh, one cup measuring cup and two of these containers which is uh, 9.8 ounces this stuff it's just actually a little bit over two and a half cups so I'm going to go ahead and dump the whole thing it's you know maybe a uh, eighth of a cup half of a cup or an eighth of a cup short of three cups so <laughs> the mix is two and a half cups of pellets I'm going to put in the whole thing it's probably like two and three quarter cups of pellets Pour them into the water bottle here and mix it up into the water. Uh, in they go. And of course, the funnel's going to stick, so instead of doing this on camera, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off camera and uh, mix it in. I'll show you how it mixes up in the water. Alright, so I got them poured in here and uh, just maybe see it's fizzing a little bit now these will mix a little hot so shake it really good release a little bit of air off of it and then uh, add the rest of the water so let me go ahead and shake this bad boy up and then we'll finish the uh, process all right shook it up really good and uh, you see there's little bubbles here from it uh, mixing and uh, it'll get a little warm to the touch and that's just a chemical reaction taking place of the uh, calcium chloride breaking down so uh... see little bubbles there 
Nothing to be alarmed about, but it completely dissolves clear. It'll be cloudy for a little bit, that's just the bubbles. And then uh, it'll be clear. So last thing you do, just uh, top off the rest of the... I took out about this much water. And I uh, put the pellets in it and shook it up. So then shake it up once the uh, pellets are dissolved. Fill it the rest of the way up with water. Mark this calcium. And you've got a stock solution that is 37,000 ppm of um, calcium. Part 1 solution. And that's it. These are a dollar. The Dollar Tree... This was a dollar, so for three dollars, I got a gallon of stock solution part one calcium. And uh, that's how you do it. Calcium chloride dihydrate. RO water or spring water. And I've got probably a month supply for my SPS dominant system. Works great. Love it. Alright, happy reefing.